King Krishnadev Rai was once gifted a beautiful rose plant by a close friend. The rose creeper grew well and very soon spread all over the high walls of his palace. In the flowering season, lovely roses bloomed. The king loved the beautiful roses and told his gardener to make sure that no one plucked them. One day, the king called his gardener. He said, "Look, for the past few days, I have noticed that someone is stealing the roses. Their number is decreasing every day." The gardener asked the king to position a guard to secretly watch the garden. So a guard was posted, and the thief was caught the very next day. He had his hands full of roses. He was none other than the ten-year-old son of Tenali Raman. In those days, it was a custom to parade the thief throughout the city. This served two purposes. One, the people would come to know who the thief was, and at the same time, the thief would also be ashamed of his misdeed. Tenali Raman's son was also taken around the city in the same way. When they passed Tenali's house, his wife saw her son with the guards. She was shocked and shouted to Tenali, who also came out to see. Tenali and his wife tried to speak to their son, but the guard did not allow them to meet. Tenali's wife started crying and asked Tenali to help their son. Why don't you do something for our son? You are so close to the king. Please ask the guard to forgive him," Tenali said loudly. "I can't do that. Our son has got into trouble. He should use his mouth to get out of this." The son heard this and felt bad that even his father was not ready to help him. But suddenly he realized what his father was trying to say. The son understood what his father wanted to tell him. He had to use his mouth. The mouth is used to talk and also to eat. Tenali's son started eating the roses. By the time they reached the king, the son had eaten all the roses without the guard realizing it. The guard produced him before the king. He told the king that he had caught Tenali's son red-handed stealing the roses from the garden. The small boy cannot be thief," said the king, not believing the guard. The guard tried in vain to convince the king that Tenali Raman's son was indeed the thief. The boy said, "My lord, I was just passing the way, and this man caught me. I am innocent." The guard lost his temper and said, "No, my lord, he is lying. I caught him red-handed near the rose creeper while he was plucking the flowers." The son said, "My lord." He has failed to catch the real culprit and so has framed me. The guard shouted angrily, "Don't tell lies." The boy said, "If I had stolen the roses, they should have been in my hands, but see, there are no roses in my hands." <laughs> the king saw the empty hands of the boy. He got very angry with the guard for trying to frame a small innocent child. The boy was set free, but he had learned his lesson that stealing was not the right thing to do. He pledged never to take anything that did not belong to him, not even a flower. <laughs>